Yo guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do what you saw in the intro. So, pretty much what you're gonna need for this is your song. I'm using Big Spend in my Rarin, copyright free, it's fire. And then I'm using my clip here. Um, and pretty much what you want is to sync the clip up. And now what you wanna do is cut the clip on the kill, on the beat drop, and have a marker on the um, beat drop and a point before um, where you want to start the build up. So I'm starting here, because you can kind of hear a riser starts here, so I'm gonna start it there. But it's anywhere under a second before um, is good. So no nothing over a second, because that, then I'll just be a little too long. But what you're gonna wanna do is go to that place on the marker, where you're gonna start it, and um, pretty much just find a point for where you can start it. A point where you want to start it. So for me, this is not really good. I'm editing it here. I'm editing that wall here. So I'm gonna cut the back, and I'm gonna drag it. I'm gonna drag it back. And so now, like right here, looks good. Like I'm jumping through the air. So then I'm gonna drag this all the way back, and I'm gonna cut it right here on that little marker, and I'm gonna drag it up. So now what I'm gonna want to do is open Retime Controls by right clicking and clicking Retime Controls, and open Retime Curve. Um, here, when I'm here, I'm gonna zoom in and click this little drop down and click retime speed and unclick retime frame. And then, um, right here, I'm going to go five frames back from the end right here. So, one, two, three, four, five. Add a speed point, and then I'm going to pretty much come here to this line and drag this one down to 15%, and this one all the way up to the top, 300 and drag this little dot and drag it all the way over so it lines up perfectly with the beat drop in the beginning of this other clip where the kill happens. So now as you can see, and so now you can see it's low FPS and so what you want to do is click on it, go to video and click optical flow and click smoother and enhance better and now it'll look like And there. And so now what you want to do is go to the kill. Um, right click retime controls and right click retime curve again click the arrow retime speed on click retime frame Just like we did before and just go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 Add a speed point and now drag this part up all the way up to 300 and this bottom part 33 Click the dot go up click this little thing right here That'll make it a curve and just drag the circle out so you see this curve starting right here at the beginning and as you can see, it's low FPS again. So click it and just go to optical flow and smoother again. And now hold shift and click your right arrow key to go one second forward and just make it end right there. And yeah, so that's our velocity. And now we can actually get into the good stuff, the, what you probably came here for. So, all right. So now um, in the description, I'm going to have a drive linked um, and it's gonna have everything you need so it's gonna have um, the project file which um, if you don't know how to open just double click it it's gonna open DaVinci Resolve um, and it's gonna ask you to name a project press OK and it'll open and you can just add these to your um, your media pool or what's it called your power bins I'll have a tutorial in there um, to show you how to use that but then this cool shockwave and then my clip maybe I don't know if I'll put that in there the sound of a sound effect and another good sound effect. So you're just gonna wanna drag in this shock of effect. Um, and pretty much what you wanna do is if you wanna change the color, change the hue. So like 40 is like, or 30 is like reddish. That looks nice, but I'm gonna make it pink because I think that looks good. So I'm gonna unlink the clip and delete the audio because there is no audio. But I'm gonna right click it, change clip speed, and I'm going to reverse speed it and change. And now it's reverse speed. So now what you want to do is open retime curve and retime controls. Zoom in, click on this, retime speed, on click retime frame. You already know. And have this start on that little beat drop, the beginning part you want. So as you can see, it starts off pretty like it starts off like a black screen, and you can't really see stuff for quite a bit. So like right around here. So so 20 frames forward, cut that off. Now what you want to do is go 30 frames forward, add a speed point there. And now what you want to do is go to this back part and make it um, 300 or negative 300%. So that's almost perfect actually, it syncs up. And now you're going to drag this back part so it syncs the, the, the 30 frames we went. Just drag that um, around so it makes the end sync up perfectly. And now um, you want to click this dot and now click this so it curves. And just drag this as far out as you can so it's... 
Kim. So that looks super cool. It slowly fades in to be um like a like that so now what you're going to do is click on it right click open infusion page it might take a little while to load if you have a worse pc but control space and look up delta here click on it press add and if it doesn't show up here like um shows up here if you hold shift and drag it in the line it'll go there pretty much just make click on this make it black and click on this and make that black and i'll make the background transparent so now you can see Oh, and um, if you make sure you have quarter res, um, and also make sure your render cache is on none. Render cache is the worst thing ever. It makes you laugh. And when you change render cache, it changes your resolution. It makes it look full, but it's not. And it says you're on quarter. Just click it again, and it'll make you go back to worst res. So. All right, so that looks pretty good, and we can, we're gonna make it look even better. All right, so. In the project file, in like the for the presets, I'm gonna have a so I'm gonna have a dog vision and a color correction thing here. You're just gonna drag those, drag um the red. Pretty much what you wanna do first is drag the red color correction on, and just so you know, if you drag it from the front, it doesn't work. You have to drag it from the back. And then what you wanna also wanna do is drag the dog vision over. The dog vision is a super cool effect that allows you to change the color and make it look a lot better. So if you don't like the color for the dog vision, so for me, my thing is pink. So I'm gonna change the color to obviously pink. So I'm gonna get something like that, like dark purple, that looks fine. So that looks good. So now also in the dog vision, what you're gonna wanna do is turn the saturation up to two. That makes it look super bright, super nice and glowing. Um, and yeah, so now what you want to do is pretty much on the, the little shocker thing, go to video and make the zoom. 1.25 is good. All right, so now guys, what you're going to want to do is have kind of like a go into this little like this crazy like pink looking thing. So what you want to do is go to the project file. I have this um, hard tilt impact. It's, a, it's an impact in the beat shake. So I'm going to use this as a beat shake for this clip. So it's a good impact, beat shake, whatever. And now what you want to do is go to the search bar and search up Gaussian Blur. Drag that on. And now what you want to do is go to the bottom, click it, keyframe it at 0 0.5 at the beginning, and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And make it 0, so it just kind of blurs into it. And then you're also going to want to do is add a radial blur um, on, and that and keyframe that at 0 0.6 at the beginning and go 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 frames, drag it down to 0. So it kind of spins into this cool buildup. Alright, so that we're almost done here, um, kind of. Um, so what you want to do now is add this pre-shake, um, line up the back. So it's just a simple pre-shake. Um, yeah, and now one of the last things for this build-up is going to be um, um, this. So what you want to do is get an adjustment clip, drag it on, split it, cut it over your segment, and now search up vignette. So V-I-G-N-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. Drag it on. Drag the regular DaVinci one on. And what you're going to want to do is pretty much at the beginning have the, just the size at 1. And when you start to see your little circle right here, start the keyframe. So I can start to see it right here. And I'm just going to pretty much, doesn't have to be perfect, but at the very end, pretty much what you just want to do is make the size 0. So it just kind of goes in on the circle. And there you go. It just... It kind of closes in around the circle into the impact, which looks super nice. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's really hard to see. But here, so actually, you can start to see my circle right around here. So I'm going to start to keyframe here. And now for the best part, um, well, not the best part. Now, um, what you're going to want to do is 
impact stuff so now you want to drag the hard tilt impact on the kill and now you're going to want to drag these are all in the project file by the way drag the flicker on these all, are, all have keyframes already and um then you're going to drag zero saturation on kill this trust me this looks really good go halfway between cut it and make this like that and that looks super nice and that's it for the impact effects that's not much but that's all there is and now um, for these sound effects, so I made this one myself, the, what, this, um, God Tempest sound effect, and I didn't make this one, but, um, you just want to drag this in, and you're going to want to find the pump shot, and actually, I think I'm going to leave this into the project file with, like, this marker where the kill, or the, where the, um, impact part is, because it's probably going to be hard to find. And now I just want to line this marker up with the kill, so. And unmute this. And to top it off, just to make it sound the best it can be, drag in this sound 7. This is a really good sound effect. And extend that. And pretty much just you're going to have this part around there on the kill. And you're going to want to make this quiet because it's a really loud sound effect. So make it negative 5. And I'm gonna go render this out, and yeah, so if you have any questions, comment them down below, um, and please consider subscribing, we're so close to 5,000 subscribers, um, and yeah, peace.